It's practically instinct. The light comes on and you search for the nearest gas station. Every once in a while, panic sets in, but we usually know fuel is close by. The problem? Oil is not sustainable. A solution? Electric. But it has its physical limitations. The biggest challenge right now is what we call range anxiety. Mm -hmm. It means people are really worried about this new technology and they feel like they're stranded at some point, right? Battery is empty and they, they can't go any further. Right. And that is often the number one reason why they will not buy an electric vehicle. This technology could completely revolutionize that. The technology Klaus is referring to is called dynamic wireless charging. It works just like the wireless internet, but instead of getting you online, it charges your car as you drive. Oak Ridge National Laboratory is a transportation testing facility run by the U.S. government. Their mission is to solve the world's transportation problems, and that means convincing automakers, consumers, and taxpayers that it's worth it to rip up America's interstates. How do you retrofit roads to become wireless charging stations? One of the current scenarios is that the coils would actually be embedded in the roadway. So this is the part that would be um, placed into the roadway or placed in the parking opportunity. So this would be embedded in the road? You'd actually have it flushed at ground level. Okay. So this one would be on the underside of the vehicle, and as okay. the vehicle drives anywhere, it would be free from any debris or any possible impact. Um, and then this one would be the one that's embedded in the vehicles or the roadway system. What would be the power source of these pads? Well, I've seen different scenario adoptions play out, and one of those is a solar array to utilize land that's available uh, next to the roadways as you drive down the freeway. Oak Ridge isn't the only place experimenting with dynamic wireless charging. At least 10 other countries across the globe are toying with using high-tech coils in their roadways. The cost for installing these wireless charging stations, what dollar amount are we talking here? If you assume that it costs about $2 million per mile to put it into a highway, it would be about $80 billion, and you would have the entire interstate system equipped with like electrified HOV lanes. And that now enables you to always leave the interstate with a full tank of electricity in your battery. Now there's lots of electric vehicles on the market. Would this power source be able to charge all of those electric vehicles? I mean, Toyotas and Teslas alike? Yeah, the great thing about this technology really is that it's vehicle agnostic. It doesn't care what kind of vehicle it's going in, as long as the understanding is there that the vehicle has certain needs on its own energy storage system. What's the biggest hurdle? I'd say the biggest uh, hurdle is really getting some, some hardware in different vehicles and showcasing the uh, interoperability of systems and highlighting to the consumers that it's safe and that it uh, is, is semi-autonomous, that there's not a whole lot of interaction. If you're considering an electric vehicle, if there are more opportunities to charge up easily, vehicles can become cheaper because the, battery, the batteries themselves are a little bit smaller.